Hey guys, today I want to talk about a type of scam and how not to get tricked by it. So if you guys don't know, on Steam there are games such as like H1Z1 and Counter-Strike Global Offensive that have in-game items that are worth real money. So since these items are worth actual money, then there's no shortage of people trying to scam others or getting items for free. Now recently one of my friends went to trade a CSGO knife to somebody and he ended up getting scammed. The nice part about this one is we knew we were getting scammed. I was with him in a Skype call and yeah, I'll explain it right now. So what happens was, of course, my friend has a knife. He wants to trade the knife to a better knife. So someone contacted him about trading his knife and he was interested. So he went and went ahead and talked to them. But right off the bat, something was really fishy because the guy had an inventory worth thousands of dollars and my friend's knife was only worth about 60 and he even offered to trade his case hardened karambit which was worth a couple hundred for his $60 knife. So of course what happened well we knew it was a scam so we decided to record the screen and all along this video you're gonna be seeing him in the middle of getting scammed. So this video cost like a $60 knife to make but I'm glad I can make this video to maybe prevent it happen to some of you guys. But yeah um, really I should explain the scam first so here is how people do the scam. In this day and age, almost everybody knows about these scams if you are an item trader, but this one is a little bit weird because it makes you feel safe about the trade. What happened in this situation and probably a lot of other times, this is a new form of the middleman scam. So if you guys don't know what a middleman scam is, is if the other guy wants to trade you a knife, he says, oh, give this to this guy, and I'll give my knife to this guy, and he'll uh, be able to trade us the knife, so it's fair. But a lot of times that's not the case. That middleman is in it, in on it with the other guy, and they steal your item. This is a form of that, but, in a, but a little bit different. So how they use it in this scam is they use a so-called Steam employee to get your item. Oftentimes, they'll link it to the Steam profile, said, hey, add them. We are going to do an item verification to make sure it is not duped. And this Steam profile looks legit. You'll probably see it on screen as it's 10 plus years. So you might think, oh, this is a 10 plus year. They must be fair. And then they have everything. This looks like a Steam employee's account. But beware, don't get tricked. They're just there to scam you. So yeah, in this example of my friend getting scammed, that's exactly what happened. The guy said, hey, add this uh, Steam admin or employee and trade the item to him and he will check your item to make sure it's not duped. I'll send my item. And of course, this entire time, the Steam employee and the other guy are talking, you know, making sure that his item's not duped, but no, really, they're working together to steal your item. Or it might be even the same person. So yeah, he's going to send you a link to trade with a verification bot to make sure it's not duped and once you trade the item you're not getting it back and both of them will block you and your item's gone so yeah do not fall into this scam that steam employee is not a real steam employee this might seem legit but trust me it's not but guys I'm not gonna just tell you about the scam and not tell you how to prevent it so here are a couple ways to prevent the scam or ways to detect it to not get scammed a couple of ways on how to detect the scam. There's a lot of ways scammers try to do things. One of the main ones that I've seen is they try to rush you so you don't get to think about it. In this case, in my friends, this guy kept saying, oh, my brother needs to do something. My brother needs to do something. He kept trying to rush my friend into doing this so he doesn't have time to think about what he's doing. So if the trader seems very, very rushed, beware, because that might be for a bad intent. Another way you can kind of tell if it's a scammer is if they act dumb. In this case, again, my friend had a $60 knife. The guy offered his uh, case hard karambit, which is worth much more. And that's not even the crazy part. Uh, the actual knife, the case karambit, was actually a blue gem. For those of you who don't know, <clears throat> it's just a very rare pattern that can be worth thousands of dollars. He was willing to trade a over a thousand dollar knife for a sixty dollar knife that is fishy that is dumb and that is a scam so if someone tries to act dumb or do something weird it's most likely a scam another thing that happens quite often is they don't respond very quickly or they respond too quickly I know this is very general but a lot of times you can pick up on the hints if you ask them a hard question it might take a long time or you ask them a hard question they they already know the answer maybe they're used to it another big thing 
is them avoiding questions. This happened again in my friend's case. We kept asking him questions to kind of like reveal the truth. And he avoided a lot of these questions, just straight up ignoring them and saying, well, are you going to do the trade already? So if someone does that, be careful. And a couple of ways to prevent the scam. First of all, don't trade, which is not a very helpful thing because you do want to trade. But if you 100% don't want to get scammed, just don't trade. Um, uh, other ways which aren't foolproof is uh, look at their past history. If they change their name constantly, be careful. If uh, they have bad reports on websites, be careful of them. And once again, just use logic. If they send you a link, don't click on that link mindlessly. In this case, if they say, oh, send your item to this bot to um, make sure it's not duped, don't do it. There's no guarantee of them getting your item back. So yeah, guys, this was just one of the scams that I've experienced or me and my friend experienced. So once again, I'm going to make this short. If someone contacts you about trading and they want you to send it over to a Steam employee just to make sure it's not duped, don't do it. It, he is really, it might look like a Steam employee, but it isn't. Trust me. So guys, you keep trading, but be safe. It's dangerous. A lot of people take advantage of you, and they will want your money. So guys, I hope you liked this video. Hopefully, you it, it's informed you. And yeah, guys, I'm going to get out of here. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you like and comment as it supports my channel. And I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.